Hi there. I've always been curious about Tunisia. Can you tell me what the main culture is like in Tunisia? Hi, Tunisia is a fascinating country with a rich and diverse culture. Its main culture is influenced by a mix of Arab, Berber, and Mediterranean traditions. That sounds interesting. Can you elaborate on the Arab influence? How does it manifest in Tunisian culture? Arab influence in Tunisia is quite significant, especially in language and religion. The official language is Arabic, and Islam is the dominant religion, shaping many aspects of daily life, including customs, traditions, and values. Ah, I see. What about the Berber influence? How does that contribute to the culture? The Berber influence is particularly noticeable in the indigenous Amazi population in Tunisia, mainly in the rural areas. It's seen in various aspects like music, traditional clothing, and some culinary traditions. The Berber culture has a strong connection to the land and its resources. So, there's a blend of these Arab and Berber influences. How does the Mediterranean factor in? Tunisia's location along the Mediterranean Sea has played a significant role in shaping its culture. The Mediterranean influence can be seen in the cuisine, which includes dishes like couscous and seafood, as well as in the lifestyle with a focus on leisure activities along the coast. That's intriguing. How does this cultural blend affect daily life in Tunisia? It's quite fascinating. This cultural blend creates a unique tapestry of traditions and practices. For instance, in daily life, you'll find a mix of Arabic and Mediterranean cuisine, with dishes like tajini and harissa being popular. The people often embrace a laid-back Mediterranean approach to life but still hold strong Islamic values dear to their hearts. That's a beautiful mix of influences. What about the arts and music in Tunisia? How do they reflect this culture? Tunisian arts and music are incredibly diverse. Traditional Arabic music, influenced by the Makam system, is popular, but you'll also find a vibrant contemporary music scene with fusion elements. The Andalusian music style has deep roots in Tunisia, and it's a significant part of the cultural heritage. It's amazing how diverse it all sounds. How about festivals and celebrations? Are there any unique to Tunisia? Absolutely! Tunisia hosts a variety of festivals and celebrations throughout the year. One of the most famous is the Festival of Carthage, featuring music, theater, and cultural events. The Festival of the Sahara celebrates desert traditions, and Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha are important Islamic festivals celebrated with much enthusiasm. It seems like Tunisia has a rich cultural calendar. What about traditional clothing and attire? Traditional Tunisian clothing is quite distinctive. Men often wear a jalabaya, long robe, and a chekia, a red felt hat, while women wear the beautifully embroidered fauda or sarul, baggy trousers. These garments are not just functional, but also reflect cultural identity. That's interesting. What about language and education? Is Arabic the primary language of instruction? Yes, Arabic is the primary language of instruction in schools, and it's essential for communication. However, French is also widely spoken, especially in business and higher education. Tunisia has a strong emphasis on education, and its literacy rate is relatively high compared to other countries in the region. That's great to hear about the emphasis on education. How do you think globalization and modernization are impacting Tunisian culture? Globalization and modernization have brought both opportunities and challenges to Tunisia's culture. While they've opened up avenues for economic growth and exposure to new ideas, there's also a concern about preserving traditional values and heritage. The younger generation is often at the forefront of embracing global trends while trying to maintain a balance with their cultural roots. That's a common challenge in many countries. Is there anything being done to preserve and promote Tunisian culture in the face of globalization? Yes, there are efforts to preserve and promote Tunisian culture. The government supports cultural initiatives, and there are various museums, theaters, and cultural centers dedicated to preserving the heritage. Additionally, UNESCO has recognized several elements of Tunisian culture as intangible cultural heritage, which helps raise awareness and protect these traditions. It's good to hear that steps are being taken to preserve the culture. What about tourism? How does the culture of Tunisia attract visitors? Tunisia's culture is a significant draw for tourists. The country's historical sites, such as the ancient city of Carthage and the Medina of Tunis, offer a glimpse into its rich past. Visitors are also attracted to the vibrant markets, where they can experience traditional crafts, cuisine, and music. 
The blend of cultures and the warm hospitality of the Tunisian people make it a unique and inviting destination. It sounds like a fantastic place to visit. Thanks for sharing all this information about the main culture in Tunisia. It's been enlightening. You're welcome! Tunisia is indeed a captivating country with a rich and diverse culture. If you ever get the chance, I highly recommend experiencing it firsthand.